What is happening, my people? This is Tim Dodd with The Tim Dodd Show, and today I'm gonna show you two very powerful strategies using LinkedIn Sales Navigator to get leads and ultimately customers. Come on, guys and gals, that's what we're here for, is customers, correct? We don't just want leads, I'll throw you a bunch of leads, I'll throw you a list of leads, we want customers. And using Sales Navigator is such a crucial part of that process. So before we jump in, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you click that little bell, Ding. so every time I drop a hot one on you, you're the first to know, I don't want you missing out okay so we're generating thousands of bookings every month clients hire us to get them a hundred bookings 500 bookings thousand bookings but when a client hires us they're not just hiring us for booking they're hiring us to get their team customers and our average client is seeing a 10 to a 20 to 1 ROI why is that important why do I bring that up it's not to brag about us my whole point is that whatever our focus is is that that focus needs to be on getting customers we don't want to get caught up in likes and shares and blah 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 all this stuff if it doesn't generate new business. So there's two strategies that we're using to absolutely dominate LinkedIn. And yes, if you come to this video past the May uh, 2021 LinkedIn change, yes, LinkedIn has limited you to a hundred connection requests. Yes, there's a little loophole going around that you can do more connection requests. LinkedIn is going to shut that. They are going to make that small. So don't buy into these loopholes. What I'm going to share with you, you can use at scale, on scale, and we're using it to generate thousands of bookings. So what are those two strategies? Well, the first one, I like to call the machine gun strategy. Bum, 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 bum. You're connecting with as many people as you can, you throw on a message, and you're hoping that that message resonates with people. That is the most effective way to turn your time, your money, and your energy into leads and clients. We've generated tons from that, and some people might be turned off by that, but you wanna, you wanna know why people do it is because it works. If you have an effective message that resonates with your audience, it works. That's the machine gun. Bop, 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 bop. I might have 20, 30, 40, 100, 200 accounts, LinkedIn accounts, that we're doing aggressive outreach to pop, 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 machine gun style, and we're gonna get tons and tons of leads, bookings, and then ultimately customers from that. The other strategy is like, let's just say you're targeting very, very specific or a small pool of people where the machine gun strategy doesn't work. This is like your sniper rifle strategy where you're being highly targeted. You're, you're literally manually connecting with people, manually sending them messages. It takes a lot of work, but your deals with these highly targeted people might be worth millions of dollars. So the two strategies, if you try to kind of find yourself somewhere in between, you're not gonna do very good. Either you need to do the sniper rifle or the machine gun. Both work incredibly, incredibly well. The sniper rifle is gonna be more a strategy that you give to your sales rep. The machine gun is gonna be something where you're setting up 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100, 200, 300 LinkedIn accounts, and then just doing heavy outreach with that. So let me ask you, if you could generate high volume, 100, 200, 300, 500, 1,000 plus bookings a month, on you and your sales team's calendar, would you be okay doing the higher, more aggressive outreach like I'm talking about? If you're okay with that, this is a very powerful strategy. And we actually have a, a ebook, I, I believe it's gonna be down in the description, where you can, um, we, we're give, we give away that strategy. I do wanna show you in this video how to do the Sales Navigator uh, details, but if you wanna see how we're like, flooding calendars with bookings and ultimately customers download that ebook totally free you're gonna love it just make sure um, the only thing we ask if you download it is give us give us um, feedback and give us testimonies as it starts working for you so let's go ahead and jump into the actual sales navigator and how that works I'm gonna do a screen share and we'll go from there remember how we were talking about there's like two strategies really to do um, lead generation client acquisition on LinkedIn one it's gonna be that that machine gun where you're just like doing a heavy amount of outreach versus the, the sniper where you're just you're looking for the very 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 targeted uh, I'm gonna show you first how to do the the more bulk type outreach which is generally gonna be if you have sales teams and you're trying to fill up their calendar for them you know with 100 200 300 thousand plus meetings a month the sniper rifle is gonna be more a strategy that you give to your actual sales rep themselves who are doing some um, targeting and outreach between their, their sales calls. So before we get too much into this, uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, the only thing that we use on Sales Navigator is the search filters. We don't use the, the the LinkedIn Sales Navigator inbox and all the tools and all that. It's just bulky. I don't think it makes any sense whatsoever. It was like good try, but um, we use it for the filters. Now we're, we're just gonna use, I'm gonna show you over here. We just are gonna use the standard um, LinkedIn inbox over here. You can see yada, yada, yada. I'll click up here and I'll put unread, you know, click on the unreads and I'll just go through. Now we don't actually use 
uh, my personal account to do bookings. Um, we, we just don't. We, we have pl plenty of other accounts that we don't need to do that. So here we go. Let's jump into the sales navigator. So let's talk about the machine gun approach where we're, we're going to be targeting a heavy amount of people. Now, our company is uh, kind of like the marketing company that marketing companies hire because we we help marketing agencies get get leads and customers. We help a, a lot, any any business to business and and insurance companies and and uh, coaches and we're working with a large solar company right now to get the meeting. So we do a lot of a lot of like different meetings. But let's just say you first thing you want to do is you want to figure out what industry. Now we are kind of limited on on the industries. It's whatever. Um, LinkedIn wants to give us so it's it's not perfect but but you'll learn more on, on how we kind of adjust it so like let's just say it's marketing we want to do marketing advertising or um, and, you know we're targeting marketing advertising people okay cool I'm gonna click that um, then I'm gonna come over here second degree third degree because obviously you know I don't need reaching out to my uh, connections there let's just say you know I always start in the US but US UK New Zealand Australia Canada great places to start uh, so, but we'll just start it in the United States just to kind of create what I call a base search. And then w once we create this base search, we'll split it up. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. So we have uh, industry. The next thing is going to be title. Now, the, if you do title versus seniority level, you see how I can click seniority level. That's going to be owner. That's going to be owner if, of any of their uh, roles, current or past or, or you know, when a, uh, and then if I go to titles over here, I can do current only. So like, let's just say we're targeting owners of marketing agencies, owner. I could also put in founder. You don't have to do a, too many keywords. Um, like I don't have to do like um, found, you know, a partner, you know, partner, stuff like that. I, I wouldn't do that. I would just do like owner, founder. That's going to give us, give us a lot of stuff there. This is now uh, our search for more of a machine gun outreach because we're, we're trying to reach everybody in every pocket from there. Okay, great. I've got um 250k results you can see 21k posted on linkedin guys uh just take a little note on this this is a little hack you can use this tells me that this search is about nine percent active so that's a pretty active search if i'm if i'm targeting an industry and uh it's less than five percent active it's going to generally be a very hard industry to get leads from you know there's exceptions to that rule of course but look at this 20, 250,000 results and 21,000 posted on linkedin in the last 30 days so this is a pretty active audience you know about nine percent are are posting on linkedin which means that we're gonna have pretty good responses from this industry so let me just uh swap out industries to kind of give you an idea of maybe what um a not not active industry might look like um see i mean since COVID, I mean, a lot, a lot, of, a lot is just a lot more active, anyways. But you can see on here we have 85k results and about 3k are, are active. So lawyers are just not super active on LinkedIn. So you're you're only going to get about 4% active. So our outreach is going to produce a lot less results, as well as um, you know lawyers are just getting hit up like crazy all the time, and they are. Um, they're just you're not going to get great results can you get results absolutely it's going to take you three four five times as much work to do it so if this is your only customer totally fine but i just wanted to show you that little hack so uh let's jump back to the search and then i'm going to kind of show you how to do the outreach so from here what i'm going to do is i have 310 marketing company owners second and third degree i'm going to get rid of law practice i have 250k what i can then do is i can um i can copy copy this and I can save this on a sheet or a notepad or something. And then what I can do is I can now break this down by city or state and I can slowly take over the, you know, the entire U S I could do like Florida, I could do Miami and, and that way you're separating your outreach uh, between all the different states. So that's kind of how you're going to do the machine gun. Now, what is the difference that we're going to do when we're doing a little bit more hyper targeting? Well, here, I'm going to show you right here. So, you can see with this 250K, we can just do a massive, stupid amount of outreach to this audience. Um, but if we want to really lock this down, we can start doing like over here, company headcount. So, okay, so maybe you're saying like, oh, I, I only want to work with companies that are a uh, certain size. Oh, my uh, mouse is acting a little funny here. Company headcount, you know, they say, hey, I only want to work with companies that are at least 11 employees. So, you know, we go 11 no more than 200 like this is the the owners you want to talk with okay so it's a much smaller audience 51k what's great about this is you can see this is 8k out of the 51k are active so this is this is um 
what is that? It's like almost 20% active. So very, very active audience here. Very, very cool. But a very, it's a much smaller pool. You know, if um, we have some clients where we're doing 30, 40, 50,000 connection requests a month for. So obviously this audience would be too small. But if you're being more targeted, you, you can do this. You're going to run out of outreach in a little while if you're doing bulk, but you can be more targeted. Here's the problem with the company headcount is this is going to this is going to attach the size of the company not to the current role but to any role they've ever been in. So it's not perfect by any means. Um, you are still going to get a little bit of a mix and blend in here. So this is kind of a way that you could do like a bulk outreach but a little bit more targeted. And then obviously um, the final way is you can go through let's look at all filters you can go through some more filters and really, really narrow this down um, as far as uh, we have the company headcount. Um, but you, you can also do stuff like, um, which I don't use very much, honestly, where is it? Where is it, keyword? You can tell I don't use it very much because uh, function, you can do a function. So like if you're really trying to look for somebody that's maybe the owner, but they're also in the marketing role, um, you could you could reach out to them or if you're looking at somebody who's more in the sales role you could you could do that and then you're more doing a hyper target where you're actually going to their uh, you're actually going to their profiles you're sending a personalized message hey look, I just checked out coffee bean magazine man love it see your background and that's more hyper targeted again uh, your ROI is just it's not great there and um, your your most of your ROI is going to happen from doing more of an aggressive um, outreach as long as you have the right message you're doing more volume so that's how you use the LinkedIn sales navigator there's not it's like I don't there's a million lists and, and things to it but we're generating thousands of bookings a month we don't use all those crazy searches okay so that's exactly how to use sales navigator to really like hyper target your audience now you can obviously if you're using our strategy you can use like one sales navigator account and then set that up with 10 20 linkedin accounts do heavy outreach for your sales team get those bookings right so if you want to see more details on how to do that and how we're getting lots of leads customers and then getting them warmed up before the sales call download that ebook it's so powerful it's going to give you the step-by-step uh, information on how we do that uh, the only thing we ask is is you start getting results from that just give us give us testimonies man testimonies are very very powerful again this is tim dodd with the tim dodd show i hope you got a lot of value from today's video um make sure to like comment subscribe boom click that bell button so that next time i drop a hot video you're the first one to know we also have a ton of other videos that you can watch click them watch them go through and i hope that this has given you a massive amount of value again tim dodd with the tim dodd show and I will see you soon.